So all eyes are currently on the United States of America. Everybody watching in anticipation as to find out who is going to be the next president of the United States. At the time of recording this video, there's still no conclusive decision as to who will be its president. Lots of the data pointing towards Joe Biden. But I'm not sure if you had a chance to watch both of these candidates speak, give speeches last night. You can make your own decision as to the dignity of their speeches, how they're handling the situation. But for each candidate, whether they win or lose, I think there's a very important message and a very important lesson that Avram Avinu, Abraham our forefather, teaches us in the parasha of Ayari this week. In fact, it's not just for the two of them. It's for anybody for that matter. Whether you go through life and you are successful in a particular endeavor, or whether you unfortunately feel that you have failed in a particular endeavor, you weren't successful as you had hoped to be, how do you react? How do you behave? Avram teaches us in both of these instances. In the first case, Avraham unfortunately doesn't convince God to spare the city of Sodom. He enters into a negotiation and unfortunately he's not successful. The Torah tells us Avram returns to his place. What does that mean? It means Avram decided, yes, I wasn't successful. I didn't manage to achieve what I set out to achieve, but it didn't change him and turn him, turn him from being a person of dignity and morality and, and, and a great behavior and connection to God to now rebelling and being somebody who just doesn't behave in the right way. No, Avram said, I've got a new mission now. This didn't work out. Let me see what I can now achieve, what else I can do in this world. Because even if you're not successful in something that you thought you should be successful in, it doesn't mean that you're a failure. It just means now you've got to change direction. You might have to try something else. Avram taught us that. He had a lot of dignity. And as I said, even though he was declined when it came to his request to God, it didn't change who he was. He said, I've got to now continue on the next mission in life. At the same time, when he was successful, when he stood the test, when, Abraham, when God tested Abraham to take his only child, born from Sarah Yitzchak, and to sacrifice him, Avram withstood the test. And although, thank God, it wasn't meant to actually be taken literally, it was just a test. Again, it says Avram returned to his place. Because in this instance, when Avram was successful, and he was proven to be someone who was withstood the test of time, if you like, the greatest test of all, he could have now let it get to his head, being arrogant and say, look at me, look how amazing I am. But again, he said, look, I've now been successful. God has you know, seen that I'm dedicated to him. Let me now get on with my mission to continue doing what I needed to do. And in his case, it was spreading the word of God to people, to humanity, to spreading monotheism, morality, values. So whether you are successful in life or whether you are feel at times that you haven't been successful you need to learn from Avram in the first instance when things don't go your way don't let it ruin you don't let it, be, it make you a person who is now angry and have to criticize everybody else remember it opens a new door and of course if you are successful don't let it get to your head don't become arrogant and egotistic and say look how amazing I am recognize the people that have helped you get there recognize the people that have given you strength that have supported you that's important continue on the mission continue doing what you want to do and hopefully, whether either of these candidates wins or loses, I'm hoping that they'll, I don't think they're going to hear my message, but hopefully in some way they'll hear the message of Avraham to behave in a dignified manner, to continue on in life. If they are successful as president, to be humble about it. And if they do lose, to lose in a dignified way. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom and a wonderful weekend ahead.